Hi class, Dr. Lingelbach here. I uh, wanted to go over the syllabus for the qualitative analysis for decision making. Uh, this is um, ITEC 7140. I've got two sections, so um, you will both have a, you'll have a, a 01 or a 02 section, and the course CRN number is completely different as well. Uh, that's the only thing that's that's different for um, these two sections. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the fall 2024 uh, term one, so uh, that means you only have eight weeks. Actually, a little bit less. The first week is like half of a week, and the last week is as well. So um, this course is completely online. It's a doctoral level course, and uh, uh, you can access it through the D2L course shell. Um, you can reach me <clears throat> through my email address at uh, kimberly.lingelbach at mga.edu. I am in the Professional Science uh, Center um, upstairs uh, if you uh, happen to be on campus. And uh, our office number is 471-2801. Uh, uh, you can also reach me by t through Teams. And um, if you need to talk to me, we can set up an appointment through email to um, have a Teams meeting or even on the uh, telephone. Uh, the COVID-19 statement, please, please read this. This is the same as all of your other um, syllabi have any questions just let me know. So section two is we're getting into the course information. So um, <clears throat> the prerequisite here is having admission into the Doctor of Science and IT program. This is a three credit hour course and it is uh, uh, providing you with some information in uh, conducting qualitative research and uh, so we're going to look at some uh, qualitative studies and then uh, we'll look at some uh, analysis of the characteristics of qualitative methods in general and as a tool in doctoral projects. Uh, then we'll look at analysis of, of the qualitative methods in um, current publications. And so we'll look at some research articles based on current research and method, method literature. So um, your expected characteristics is the ability to work and think independently is one of the fundamental requirements for studying in the doctor, doctoral program. Um, being independent means that you are confident and highly motivated. Uh, you take initiatives and have the ability to take responsibility. Uh, you are committed to the program, um, have good time management and organizational skills. Other <clears throat> excuse me, vital requirements are curiosity, creativity, discipline, and productivity. So your student learning outcomes is to present, analyze, and discuss qualitative research methods in general. Um, those used in information technology research in particular. Uh, evaluate a uh, qualitative research from a methodolo methodological perspective. Uh, assess how different qualitative methods can be used in uh, doctoral projects and describe your basic steps in qualitative data analysis. Um, also develop and apply um, codes, they're called theoretical codes, to your qualitative data. So we're, we're looking at how to analyze that data. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, some of the topics we'll be talking about narrative analysis, case study, ethnog ethnography, phenomenology, grounded theory, and data collection and analysis. Your required course materials are um, a qualitative inquiry, inquiry in research design, choosing among five uh, approaches. Uh, this is a Cresswell and Poth fourth edition. Um, you may get that in the from the bookstore. Uh, you may also get it probably off Amazon or or Barnes and Noble uh, website. Uh, optional that I strongly recommend it is the APA manual, the publication manual of the American 
Psychological Association, and we're using the seventh edition. And you can also get that from the bookstore and off of Amazon. I believe it may be last time when I bought mine, I think it was under $20 or $25, something like that. For your technology requirement, uh, you just need to have access to a computer and the internet, uh, all of your assignments, uh, course schedule announcements, course syllabus, and so forth. All your course materials are will be posted on the D2L course shell for this course. Okay. Um, you may use a computer with a web webcam, built-in microphone to participate in possible virtual meetings. Like I said, we might may can have um, team meetings, and I may from time to time have a uh, team meeting uh, at the beginning of the semester and at um, close to the end of the semester just to make sure that you guys are on track. Um, if I have a virtual team meeting, it will be um, optional uh, since I know everybody works and you may be in different time zones and all that good stuff. And I will try to uh, record them for people that can't make it. Okay. All right, this next section is uh, some resources from the library. Uh, we also have a We'll have a, uh, an embedded librarian in the course shell that she may help you get any kind of um, uh, study materials or even um, a full text uh, journal articles and, and so forth that maybe if you go onto Google Scholar and you see one that is, uh, has a pay, uh, pay screen, uh, instead of paying for that, check with our embedded librarian first before you pay for any uh, uh, documents. Uh, she may can get it from some of these databases for you. Okay, section three, um, the um, grading. So <clears throat> in the doctoral program, uh, you're striving for uh, a B or above. I wouldn't worry too much about uh, the grades at this point um, when you submit something and and it's below um, or B or below I will give you some some helpful information and uh, if we have time I will allow you to resubmit we do not want to uh, uh, talk about that unsatisfactory grade right so, um, 90 to 100 is excellent, 80 to 89 is satisfactory, below 80 is unsatisfactory. Qualitative research analysis is one of your assignments. You will have two of those. Um, you actually will have two articles to uh, analyze. And I believe I might have a rubric in there that you can use as well. Uh, there's a coding assignment, which is a midterm project, is 30%, and then a qualitative proposal uh, is the last assignment. So you have uh, a total of four, four assignments, two qualitative research article analysis, uh, one coding assignment, and a qualitative proposal. So the total is 100%. Okay, you can read... Um, uh, section 4 on expectations and attendance policy. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know and so I can answer that. Uh, withdrawal, uh, let's see, withdrawal date is September 13th. Um, that should be 2024. So I might have to update that on the syllabus. Okay, and so um, uh, please read the plagiarism policy because that's important. Uh, and if you have any kind of uh, disability or accessibility accommodations, or, or if you need to have, uh, please contact um, the um, Office of Accessibility Services. And here's the telephone numbers. Um, and a, a link here and I will let you read the rest of this is standard 
uh, for most online courses. Same thing with online discussions about how to be uh, respectful of other individuals' um, postings. I don't think we have any discussions in this, this course, but I will open up a discussion area um, if you have any questions for me and so everybody can see them. Okay. Um, some of this other stuff is pretty standard academic mindset. Uh, we want you to go through uh, your, your program with uh, these things in mind. Okay. You can strengthen my abilities through effort. Work in this course has value and purpose for me. I embrace new challenges. I will succeed if I put my effort into my work. I will learn from success and failure to continue to improve. And my effort and attitude are important to my future. Okay. Here's our tentative course schedule and outline, which any changes I will announce and uh, post it on the website. So right now this is a uh, tentative schedule. So week one, we'll look at uh, chapters one through five. Um, uh, look at uh, chapter three for designing a qualitative study, and then read about each one of the qualitative approaches. Okay. Uh, week two, um, we'll talk about initial development of a qualitative research study and introducing and focusing the studies, chapter six. And then I'm gonna have you to do an article analysis um, on uh, uh, using a CAS rubric. And then um, I say it's a discussion, but it's an individual assignment. Um, let's see. Week three, thematic uh, analysis and coding and data collection and you'll be doing your second article analysis. Um, week four, uh, you'll have a, uh, we'll talk about thematic analysis and coding, data analysis and interpretation for chapter eight. Uh, then you'll have a midterm coding assignment. Uh, week five is, we talk about case study research and then write in a qualitative study from chapter nine. Six is uh, still continuing a case study research, and then standards of validation and evaluation. Uh, chat, let's see. Week seven, uh, writing a qualitative proposal, and then finally week eight, uh, final qualitative proposal is due. So that is your last assignment. And I believe that's all we have on the syllabus. So if anybody has any questions over the syllabus, uh, please let me know. And uh, I do see a couple of changes that I needed to make on that uh, withdrawal date. It's not 2023, it's 2024. So, um, but like I said, it, you know, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, welcome to the class. Thanks.